Okay, welcome to the channel. This is the first video introduction to my channel, just to give you an overview of what the channel is all about and why am I doing the channel. For those of you who may recognize me, I used to do a channel a while back, eight, 10 years ago, on what it's like to own a Tesla. It was a pretty successful channel, hundreds of thousands of views, but almost everybody owns a Tesla now, so no purpose for that being around anymore. But in terms of the next question is, why would I create a channel on being an audiophile or audiophile related? Uh, the perception is that it's a dying hobby, everybody's going to headphones, and to a large extent that perception is true, but there's still a niche of people out there that enjoy two channel and home theater, and I've already been creating some private unlisted videos for a small circle of friends of audiophiles. So, we decided it might be a good idea to launch a channel where we can share some of these videos. And in particular, I go to shows, I can do some show reports as well. And some tips that help people that maybe where I was 35 years ago, not knowing a whole lot about the hobby and maybe saving you some of the headaches and wasted money I had to go through over the years. So without further ado, let me go ahead and start a little tour of my place to show you what I own and give you a little more background, but I'm gonna flip the camera and take it off the tripod to do so. So let me pause real quick. Okay guys, here's a shot of my DEN system, mainly consists of Wisdom Audio Adrenaline M M51s, active crossover, four channels of amplification, back from probably the year 2000. There's a whole backstory of how, when I first listened to these at the show back at CES many years ago, how I obtained them. I'll do a separate video on that. It's a pretty funny story, but this is just an overview. One of the advantages though, I will tell you, is having an active crossover. And if you're in a room like this where it's a den, a common area where your wife acceptance factor is an issue, I can't put a lot of treatments and whatnot. So having an active crossover as well as room correction this obviously, this speaker measures a lot different than this speaker in this setup because of what's, you got glass doors and the proximity. So nothing here is optimal, but in terms of being able to correct as much as possible with an active crossover and room correction, it's critical. And I'm able to get really good performance once doing that. Without it, not so much. Okay, let's go ahead and look at some other things I have in my office. I just have a benchmark DAC and some Sennheisers. I actually have a bobblehead of Ebony Maw. He should have run the show, don't you think? He was much more powerful than Thanos, I thought. Anyway, 64 Audio Tio Fortes. I won these in uh, Rocky Mountain. One reason to go to those shows. These are like $3,000. And, well, I did have them. I guess my daughter's at the beach today. I must have taken them. I should prep for these videos, but, and again, I'll apologize in advance. Some of the videos I'm releasing off the bat were not really meant for prime time consumption and public consumption. So they were shot in portrait. So I'll try to dress them up, but I apologize in advance. This isn't audio gear, but obviously uh, Kurt Cobain, a painting that I did, but I'm not an artist. I'll show you in a separate video. If you guys are interested, I'm a big fan of the 27 Club. So I'm painting various 27 club members, Morrison, you see Hendrix down there. Again, I am not an artist, but I painted these and I'll show you how to do them. If you were to go to the Morrison Gallery and pay for prints of these and that are nicely framed and, and all that fun stuff, it would cost you in the thousands. So again, if that's something that interests you, it's a pretty fun hobby to do on the side and you can also decorate your room once you have them done. But getting back to audio equipment, got plenty of that in my man cave in the back. And I would highly recommend saving up, not for new speakers or electronics, but save up to get yourself a man cave if possible. Let me turn on the light here. I don't have any turntable in house right now, so I've turned most of my record collection into just wall art. Some of the art in these album covers has been very impressive over the years. This was the first album I ever bought, New Order, Power, Corruption, and Lies, from back when I was probably 13, 14 years old. Anyway, this is the room. I'll give you a quick, actually, let me back up. This is a garage apartment, so it's very challenging with the slanted roof ceilings in terms of 
both sides. Then also, we don't have equidistant backdrops behind these. There's a closet there. This door, first reflection, opens up into a hallway and a bathroom, whereas on this side, we're talking about a brick wall facing my driveway. So it was very challenging. I had to do a lot of room treatments and also implement room correction. But I'll do separate videos explaining which room treatments work, which ones don't. I'll tell you right now, these things don't work that good. I even have to double them up. But anyway, separate video for all that fun stuff. If you notice down here, I have some various tweaks. Cables, that cable originally was in 1990s, came with a 100-page manual. Stay tuned for a video on that. Uh, auto formers, USB reclockers, vibration control products, you name it. I've tried tons of stuff over the years, and I'll straight shoot with you on which ones work and actually do videos to prove which ones do work and which ones don't um, as applicable. And speaking of straight shooting, I was reading, here it is, a version of Stereophile back when it used to be this size. And I'm not saying current Stereophile is all bad, but back in this day, they were just much more brutally honest and I find helpful with their reviews. So my channel is pretty much trying to model off of what Stereophile back was, was back in the day when they were this side, size. Leveling with you guys, trying to help you with some tips. And so if there's anything that you've seen here that interests you, then subscribe, sign up for notifications, and we will see you soon.